Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our knock control in our Haltech ESP software. So we're gonna be finding when we have a knock sensor fitted to our engine. We're able to take advantage of that and monitor how much knock is occurring. So if we're tuning our spark timing and we don't know when we're adding our timing in, when we're getting close to the maximum brake torque, we don't know if the engine's knocking or not. Now with a knock sensor, you're gonna know for sure that it's knocking. You're gonna be able to take advantage of this in the software and implement some strategies. We're gonna have a short-term and a long-term knock that we can implement. It's gonna be kicking in and immediately pulling ignition timing out. And then if we implement the long-term factor, it's gonna be going and storing that into a table as we drive around and applying a long-term ignition retard against our main spark timing table. It's actually a pretty cool concept. I'm gonna be showing you how to implement the different strategies in the knock control to take advantage of this so that you can save your engine in case you have a bad tank of gas or you get into a situation where you have knock and pre-ignition and you're not there with your laptop. The Haltech is gonna take control and save the motor. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our knock control in our Haltech ESP software. We're gonna be finding this as an invaluable tuning tool. It's gonna to allow us to figure out how much ignition timing we can run before knock starts to occur if we don't have a dyno. And we're also able to use it for more long-term correction as we're driving around and maybe we get bad gas. It's gonna be able to kick in and learn our short-term knock correction and then apply it to our base timing table. We're going to be finding it has a whole bunch of options and programming with that aspect of control. So we'll be going over all of that in this video. Now the very first thing to get started with knock controls to be uh, wiring in a knock sensor to our Elite box. So depending on which version of the Elite you have, you might have one or two knock inputs to your Elite. Jumping up in here to setup, we're going to be going into our search functions and type in our knock. And we're going to be finding we have knock control and knock detection. So the first thing we want to look at here is knock detection. Now this is going to be allowing us to configure the knock sensor. And we'll be finding the pin that's going to be available for our knock 1 or our knock 1 and 2. It's going to be hard-coded to the Haltech because these are going to be a processed input that's going to take a signal from the knock sensor and allow us to turn it into a usable input for knock control. So it's going to be very specific. It has very specific hardware on the box. So in this situation, I have an Elite 1500. I'm going to be using one knock sensor only. I only have one available. I'm on my four-cylinder engine. So I'm just going to uh, wire the signal wire from my knock sensor into P pin B21. Now, I suggest that you always use a flat response knock sensor. This is going to give you the broadest band of frequency to look at knock on. They're generally pretty quiet, and if they have knock, it's going to be pretty clear that knock is occurring. Now, Bosch happens to make an excellent flat response knock sensor that's pretty cheap. And I'm putting the part number up on the screen right now with a picture of it. You're gonna be finding it's a two wire design. A lot of knock sensors are a single wire. Those are gonna be a resonant style knock sensor. We're gonna be looking to use a flat response. So you would wanna adapt this knock sensor to your block. And you're gonna be wiring the signal wire into P pin B21. The other wire has to come back to the Haltech on a sensor ground. So looking at our IO report here, uh, give it a second. We're going to make sure that we wire that other wire in 